Paradise Killer. Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton, the hottest new trend in logistical drone networks. And today it is time for episode 34 of my Let's Play of Paradise Killer, in which we are going to talk to some people, including a skeleton. I'm still not sure why he's a skeleton, perhaps I can ask him about it today. There's a few other people left that we have to go and talk to as well. Uh, most notably those two over there, and Lydia down on the beach, who is, of course, Sam Daybreak here's beloved wife. So I think we'll go talk to Lydia next, and then next episode we'll go off and deal with those two on the island, and then it'll be time to decide what we do next. We might have enough information at that point to actually end the game, finally. But before we can move on to that, it is, of course, chat time. Sam Daybreak. Does Yuri come in here? Why do you ask, Carl D? He's after my time, and Lydia mentioned him. I don't know him, people speak to bartenders, pull their heart out after a bad day. He does come in from time to time. We all need a drink, right? Hmm. I don't trust people who don't. We all have our own ways. It can be a dark path, though. Be careful, won't you? What can you tell me about him? He's a power boy. All he thinks about is power and ambition. He wants to be on the council. Sure does. Maybe he finally snapped. Snapped? All he wants is to pursue his ambition. I voted against him in one of his numerous motions and he came across the room at me. He's angry and impatient. He thinks he's ready to run the show. Don't all young people, though? How old are you supposed to be? I can't tell because you're a skeleton. Although, actually, no, they're all immortal, young, beautiful people, so... I guess he's a younger, a younger immortal. Did you experience a comms blackout last night from the reality folding drive burst? Lydia couldn't contact Yuri for a while. Was that because of a blackout? That's what I'm trying to find out. Well, nobody's been helpful on that one so far. Any idea why Lydia's knife was outside the penthouse? No idea, LD. You sure it's hers? Uh, hmm. I kind of prefer to be direct rather than rather than mocking, but his name's in red here, so maybe that'll maybe that'll have some kind of an effect. Sam. Sammy, come on. She didn't mention losing it or using it to do a bit of murder or anything. I'm not sure how I can help, LD. Okay, well that didn't work. Did you see the Grand Marshal last night? Akiko? Didn't see her, I'm afraid, LD. You should ask her yourself, shouldn't you? Alright, Crimson. Did you see Crimson last night? Sometimes she stops by for a drink in the evening, but I didn't see her until the crisis meeting last night, LD. You should speak to her, shouldn't you? Is there anything else you can tell me about Henry's movements last night? You been to the desolation cell yet? You should ask Akiko. Alright, so he's just not going to be helpful. Did you see Witness to the end last night? I've got nothing except what I heard at the crisis meeting, LD. He was in his apartment with Carmelina. You should ask them, shouldn't you? What do you know about the escape last night? Not sure what help I can be, LD. Have you spoken to Aikiko? Oh my god. He was very close-mouthed last time we spoke to him. It's kind of ironic that a skeleton should be so tight-lipped. What do you know about Henry's demonic possession ten years ago? The Dead Zone's bad news, LD. If you're looking for a crime for a decade ago, you're gonna have to stare into the hell coffin. What do you know about the murder of Grace Bloodlines? I don't know anything, do I, LD? Well, clearly not. Fancy a drink? What's your recommendation this time? How are you doing, LD? Dancing through the investigation. Good, how about some Tsukemono and a whiskey Mizuwari? Perfect. Serving whiskey in a Mizuwari style is good with food. Mixing chilled whiskey and chilled mineral water lengthens the flavour, but maintains mouthfeel. You can really taste the toffee flavour in this one, can't you? This taste reminds me of something. Remember Dead Nebula's fine-aged soul? A deep and complex yet delicate whiskey? One of Dead Nebula's most popular whiskies. You enjoyed it just before your exile. You had one last night in my bar. We drank this together with Lydia, didn't we? You have a good memory. It is my job to remember everything about a guest in my bar. I'm not just here to serve drinks, it's imperative that I select the right drink and make sure you leave happier than when you arrived. 
Where did you learn? Unfortunately, I did not have a bar master to learn from. I had some other skills to fall back on, though, didn't I? Assassination? Assassination is not just putting a knife between ribs. You must know your target. Remember everything about them. Assess the atmosphere and mood of the target to find the perfect moment and method. The kill is a performance, an economy of motion, a ceremony of precision, tools arrayed and used intimately. You see that when I make a drink, don't you? I'd love to stay, but this mass murder won't solve itself. Please come back, won't you? Looking forward to it. Hmm. May you always live in the shadow. And may you reach the moon. I'm instinctively suspicious of him at the just just because he's so tight-lipped all of the time he won't say a goddamn thing so uh yeah let's go check out what's up with lydia we've only spoken to her once before which is true of most of these people but we've now managed to reach most of them for a second uh interview so uh i had a thought while i was talking to him and i've already forgotten what it was which is unfortunate this is the advantage of making notes when I'm editing. I can check them back while I'm while I'm recording without any real difficulty. Unfortunately, if I have a thought while I'm recording, uh, if I don't say that immediately, it's gonzo. Because that's how it is when your neurological and cognition systems are busted in the ways that mine are, which is cool and fun for everyone who's not me. What's this guy doing here? Was he here before? Was that it? Are you just gonna tell me to fuck off? Where did you come from? I'm sure he wasn't here before. I love this track. Definitely one of my preferred uh, the musical tracks on the uh, game soundtrack. It's more vibesy than most of them. Anyway, it's Lydia. Wow, that's a whole lot of stuff I haven't asked her about. Sorry to ask this, Lydia, but I need you to tell me about the last job you did. You mean moving us to the next island? No, the regime change in Europe before the syndicate. Who the hell told you about that? Wait, it was acid, wasn't it? What does this have to do with the council murder? The murder has all the hallmarks of a regime change. Oh, give me a break, LD. Me and Sammy were, sa were assassins. We did assassin shit. It was the last job we had to do to buy our freedom. That was millennia ago. A different epoch. It has nothing to do with last night. Well, I had to ask. No, you didn't. I kind of do. It's kind of my job. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. It's kind of interesting that everyone calls her LD for short, because that most reminds me of the term LD50. Which is the amount of a material is, that is required to provide half of a lethal dose, or more accurately, a, you know, I should look this up. It's either half of a lethal dose or it's a dosage which kills 50% of the test participants. So hazardous chemicals all have an LD50, you know, I mean, most chemicals do, you know, any, any, any drug you might take, any, any pharma pharmacological substance that a doctor might prescribe you has an LD50, which is how much of this was required to kill half of the mice they tested it on or whatever. Um, as in, what dose does uh, does a creature have a 50% chance of surviving? I think that's what it was. Um, but I wonder if that's intentional or not. If it is, it could lend a kind of an interesting little depth to the character. Anyway, back to talking to her. Oh boy, that's a lot of questions. I'm coming back to that one. because we have a lot of evidence putting her at the scene. Did you see the Grand Marshal last night? Sorry, Oli, didn't see Akiko-chan. Have you asked her about it? Oh no, is she a weeb? Did you see Crimson last night? Have you asked her yourself, Oli? I didn't, uh, I didn't see her. Okay, Henry. Is there anything else you can tell me about Henry's movements? For real? You need to speak to Akiko. Did you see Witness to the end last night? He's usually in his apartment. I heard Carl went to see him, though. What do you know about the escape last night? You read the report, LD? That's all I know. You'd have to ask Aikiko-chan yourself. Is she calling her that ironically, or does she actually have an affectionate relationship with Aikiko? Because Aikiko seems very hard to have an affectionate relationship with based on every way she's been around us. What do you know about Henry's demonic possession ten years ago? 
Henry caused the demons to corrupt this island, Elder. You've seen the dead zone. It's a nightmare rift we're not allowed into. If you're looking for more answers, try in there. What do you know about the murder of Grace Bloodlines? Not a thing. Alright, uh... Let's go for it. Why are your tire tracks on the penthouse? LD, that wasn't from last night. Well, when was it from then? A couple of weeks ago I went up there to think. The sunset looks so good up there. Uh... <laughs> Do I want to pry and be suspicious, or do I want to attempt to coerce her directly? I still don't know if the, the different dialogue options really make any difference. I'm gonna play hardball. Are you sure you went up to a little infiltration? You really think I was on the roof of the council building trying to break in? Somebody got in. Do you often go climbing? A new hobby? I've never been one for physical pursuits, you know that. So the repelling gear I found near tire tracks from your car on the roof of the council building doesn't belong to you. Can't say it does, LD. Sorry, I can't be of more help. Well, I found your knife outside the penthouse. What knife? It's a combat knife that's engraved with a message from Sam. You found my knife? I've been looking for that for ages. It disappeared a while ago. Disappeared? Yeah, I couldn't find it one day. Like, it just up and vanished. Mm-hmm. Do many things vanish around here, or is it just your knife that mysteriously vanished, and then later appeared at a crime scene? Come on, LD, you've never lost something before? Do you know why the blade is damaged? Not much need for a combat blade on this island, so it just became a tool. Pop the cap off a beer bottle, tighten the axle nut on the car, you know. Couldn't I have it back? It's sentimental. I'm afraid not, Lydia. This is evidence. Do you know anything about the open grate on the council building? Grate? A maintenance hatch. It's been cut open and something dragged through it. Not sure why you'd think I'd know anything about that. Actually, hmm. I gotta say, I'd forgotten, for, forgot that something was dragged out, which does raise a lot of further questions. Hmm. Do I want to be direct? I don't like to give direct information, but let's be oblique this time. I've got a scenario in my head that you fit into. Does that scenario include proof? That's what we'll find out at the trials. Hmm. I suppose eventually I might just have to start the trial and see what happens and hope I don't fuck every single part of it up. I feel like I should be able to get some kind of con like concrete information before I go, but maybe it is just going to be a matter of enough circumstantial evidence to build a case rather than having any conclusive proof. What are your tire tracks doing up on the cliff overlooking the obelisks? Why do you want to know, LD? They hold the secret of the second holy seal, and I found tire tracks putting you there. LD, I go all over the island. It's a nice view there. So you didn't go there to access the obelisks? Nope. What's going on with the message witness sent you with the key for the beach obelisks? What message, LD? The moon database has a backup of your tablet. There's a message from witness with a file attached that is the key to using the obelisks. Is that what that was? I got a message and as soon as the mail client opened it crashed out and the tablet died. The tablet was straight dead after that. Did you take it to get it looked at? Nah, I'll do. it was a few days ago. We all get new tablets on the next island anyway, and my phone still worked, so I could still do my job. That's your statement. Sure is, Elvie. I don't know about the file, or the key, or whatever it was. The difficulty with being an investigator based solely on, like, people's testimony is that everybody has the capacity to just either lie or just deny, deny, deny. <laughs> Which makes life difficult when you're trying to solve a mystery. <laughs> Let's go for a drive, LD. Your jacket doesn't smell too bad. Well, ain't you a charmer. Ever thought about replacing it? You're out of your mind. You never replace a battle jacket. It becomes a part of your life, part of you. It's been millennia. And it'll be millennia more. What are you painting at the moment? Abstract stuff. This island has existed for centuries. What does it mean to me? That kind of thing. I'd like to see them. I might learn something more about you. I'll paint something that represents you, LD. What represents me? I'm thinking about it. It must be a hard island to paint. Why? This island is unsettled. You can feel it. Nothing's right. 
I hear you. This place needs to end. It's needed to for a while. The beach okay again, LD? Perfect. Hmm. LD, I think we have something we should discuss. It's probably nothing, LD. Well, nothing is probably something. K-Man's missing, right? K-Man? I'm sorry, K-Hax. Yeah, he is. This probably has nothing to do with it, but I liked hanging in with K-Man, so I want to tell you. The other day, Yuri started freaking out in HQ. Totally went off at one of the assistants. How does this relate to K-Hax? He was looking for his ring. It's a nice ring that he commissioned from K-Hax. Is it this ring by any chance? That's the one, LD. That big blue sapphire looks good, right? Not my kind of thing. It's too flashy. I forgot. You were all about the red, huh? Where did you find it? Sorry, Lydia. Investigator's secret. Oh, so now so now you're following rule number one of investigations. Information flows only one way. You've happily told the prime suspect a great deal of information that they should not be allowed to know. Um, and, you know... There's never been any question about that. Anyway, why was he yelling at the assistant? Yuri was lashing out. He'd lost the ray and was going berserk over it. Do you think this is relevant? I want to help K-Man, you know? I think it is. Thanks, Lydia. Alright, well that gives me some more information to go grill Yuri about. I don't know that I have a motive for Yuri to have... For Yuri to be responsible for the K-Hacks mystery, though. He shut down the boat trips that would have allowed people to see the body. Hmm. That's the only direct evidence against him. Aikiko's necklace doesn't mean anything. The weird connection between him and Crimson doesn't necessarily mean anything either. Hmm. Well. May your spectre gaze upon a star. And may you reach the moon. Well, we definitely learned a fair bit there today. A lot, of, a lot of unhelpful silence and obstructiveness. We also got a fair few questions to ask people, such as Yuri and Witness and I guess Carmelina as well. We're going to have to go have a second conversation with uh, poor dead Grace Bloodlines as well. Anyway, I'm just going to look for any secrets that I might have missed lying around here. Looks like there aren't any. There's one over there on the beach. I'll go grab that one, I think. Anyway, I do find it kind of um, kind of weird, the relationship between Lady Love Dies and Lydia. There's not a ton of chemistry between them. I don't know how much of that is that, you know, the writers of this game aren't really as good as they think they are, but they do almost feel like they've been kind of like assigned as best friends, you know? I don't know how severe the, like, control in this island is, you know? Uh, like, were they mandatorily assigned to be best friends and therefore everything is is like this? The oddness of their relationship it comes down to that imposition. But also, you know, they just don't seem to know all that much about each other for people who ostensibly have been friends for thousands of years. You know, you'd think you'd run out of uh, things to not know about someone over that time. But, um, yeah, so that's, anyway. I'm not sure what the reasoning is behind their sort of, like, chemistry-free bestie scenario, but um, it is what it is, I suppose. Anyway, let's uh, remind ourselves what this ghost wants. Did you find evidence? Not yet. Okay, well that doesn't help. This is one of the many ghosts that are upset about things, but I do not know what this one wants, and I have not been able to provide it, and... To be honest, uh, we're running out of time today. You know, I have to be careful. You may or may not have noticed that my voice is uh, getting a bit busted and scrabbly. Once again, as is always the case nowadays. I wonder if I should start using like a Vocaloid or something. You know, just go, re just really go ham on the rarely sufficiently uh, stuck to bit of me being an automaton. 
instantiated on a, you know, an artificial intelligence instantiated on a very lonely asteroid floating around Lagrange Point 2, but, um, you know, I could always say that my human, uh, human communications circuits have been, have, have finally worn out and been re replaced by the backup, uh, and then just use, uh, use a voice generator. But, that's inside a baseball, isn't it? That's conversations I'm supposed to be having with myself, secretly, rather than publicly into the microphone while recording an episode. Uh, anyway, that's going to be it from me for today. Next episode, we're going to go to the other side of this miserable location over there and go talk to Anime Twink Jesus and also um, the world's angriest woman who's currently twisting the, the spear in his side. Anyway, that's those two. And that's all from me for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, and share. I also stream on Twitch, and I now have a Discord server for stream scheduling. You can contribute to my existence on Ko-fi or Patreon, and all of those links are in the video description. Thanks so much for watching.